please don't you turn down. No, please. It's Jean. It's Jean. It's Jean. I, I can't. Oh, not again. Bing. Bing, wake up. Audrey. No, it's not Audrey. It's me. Oh, my God. I've been having a nightmare. You don't have to tell me. I've been listening to you after night. And who's Audrey? Yeah, you kept me awake after night. I've hardly slept a wink. Oh, it's quarter past ten. Oh. Oh, Lord, how did we manage to sleep till this hour? Because we were out looking till all hours. We've lost so much time since then. We should have been out there at the crack of dawn. Oh, this time yet. Look, it's Christmas Eve, you know. We've got to get back tonight. Look, I reckon we should go back and check the amusement arcade. And if not, that place where the old kip in the boxes. Oh, no. What? I mean, look at this. They're worse than when I put them in there. How can I walk around London in trousers in this state? Well, let's face it, you're not going to cop off with them, are you? Especially not with that Audrey. Right, all right, I'm coming. What are you doing round here? Have you forgotten it's Christmas Eve? Come in. Thought you'd be at the club. So did I, love. So did I. What are you doing round here? Fixing the flaming washer on Lady Penelope's bath tap. Then I've got a list of 90 million other piddling little things that she wants me to do for her. Everything's got to be spot on for his lordship getting back from Spain, the savvy. Oh, oh, and meanwhile, who's going to help me get all the stuff in for Christmas dinner, eh? Well, haven't you got it sorted yet? Eh, hey, I've got a job as well, you know. Now, listen, I'll finish at dinner, then I want some help. All right, well, I'll see you when I've finished, eh? When will that be? When Lady Muck can't think of any more jobs for me. She wants everything perfect. <laughs> Looks all right to me. Very posh. Yeah, well, I bet they're going to be out all over Christmas anyway. Can't see the point in all of this. This is lovely. Did she get all this stuff? No, Granty did. Though she's not very keen, it seems. I've heard whispers, stuck up cow that she is. I think it's dead smart. Love the wallpaper. Mm, all these wood bits on the arms. Why can't we have our place like this? Because we haven't got Granty's money, have we? It's dead comfy, then. Well, we'll make the most of it. I never get the chance to sit in it, me. Too busy running round after there like a blue ass fly. I could get used to a place like this, you know. Well, back to reality. Yeah. I better get cracking or Ronald think I'm skiving off. All right, well, I'll catch you later. Now, listen, you remember, you call for me when you finish. No sloping off on the air with your mates, you know. We've got a lot to do. Do you hear me? Yes. All right. Go. Oh, there you are. I bet this is air. Oh, James, if you get the chance, could you just wash through a few smalls for me? I'll see you later, then. Yeah. Hello. Oh, uh, Barry. All right. How are you doing, mate? Yeah? I thought you'd fallen asleep. You got to go soon. What's that you got? It's just a picture of me and my sister, my mum and dad. Oh, no, 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 don't. Don't show us. Hey, your dad looks like a nice bloke. He was. It was brilliant, better than my mum. Oh, she looks nice. Nah, not as good as my dad. <laughs> Who's that? It's our bear. Oh. I knew it wasn't your real name the minute you told me. So come on, what is your real name? Rachel. What? That's a cracking name. Why didn't you tell me? Because you didn't trust me, that's why, isn't it? Rachel. I'm sorry. I suppose I didn't. Never mind. So, you ready to go then? Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, what's up? It is Christmas Eve. I was just thinking about going home for Christmas. But why? Your new life starts today. I don't know. I'm just missing out Beth and my mum a bit. Well, I mean, I thought you didn't get on with it. I know, but... Look, all right. What would you be doing if you were home right now? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, think. I suppose I'd, I'd probably be hoovering around for my mum or doing some shopping. Right, so uh, dead exciting then, eh? <laughs> no way. But instead, this Christmas Eve, you're down in London, you're going to a party in a hotel, even earning a few quid. Well, what's best, eh? London. What, too right? So, how do I look then? Oh, you look brilliant. Just one thing. This makes you look too old. 
I want to look older, don't I? You know I'm not old enough to serve drinks. Stop worrying about that. My guess, I want to see a nice, young smile. Like loads of lipstick and stuff. There. The real bed. Sorry, Rachel. Well, thanks anyway. Nothing. Come on, let's try down there. Right. Come on. I thought you were going to clean the windows. I'm still fixing your bathtub. Well, perhaps you can get the shopping in from the car. Honestly, sometimes I don't know what you do with your time. What exactly have you been doing since I've been out? I've had Barry on the phone for the last 20 minutes, haven't I? Where is he? Is he on his way back? Has he left Spain? He said that he wouldn't be back for Christmas. Why? What did he say? He said to tell you that hopefully he'll be back sometime on Boxing Day. End of message. Is he ringing back? Ooh, no, I don't think so. Well, where's his phone number? Well, he's not at Oscars. He's in a hotel somewhere, isn't he? Said he couldn't leave Terry. It's always Terry. Which hotel? Well, I don't know. He never said. Didn't you ask? Well, I didn't think. That's your problem, isn't it? You never think. Oh, hi. I need to get the turkey in before I go to the restaurant, so I need to borrow some Look, stuff. Look, Barry's just phoned. He's not going to make it for Christmas. Come in. Well, why not? I mean, we're, we're booked solid over the holidays. I mean, doesn't he know that? I didn't take the call, or I might have asked for the number of the hotel he was staying at. Well, why isn't he coming back? Well, he said he had things to do with Terry and that. Well, look, I can't interrogate my own boss, you know. Oh, just go and get the bloody shopping in. Well, it's a bit strong, isn't it? Just do as you're told, please. Well, that was a bit, uh, that was a bit rough on him, wasn't it? Oh, yes, I know, but why didn't he take the number? I'd at least like Barry to explain himself. I mean, after all the trouble I've gone to, to get this place just right for his coming back and he goes and does something like this. I mean, what sort of Christmas am I going to have now? He said he's not coming back till Boxing Day. Oh, by the way, Max, uh, Barry said to tell you that he wants you to keep an eye on the club while he's away. He what? Well, that's what he said. The cheek. Face, chicken meat. Who the hell does he think I am? I'm not some lackey running after him like a, a poodle. Just passing the message on. But that is totally outrageous. I mean, he disappears off the face of the earth, then he expects me to run his business as well as my own. What else did he say? Well, uh, nothing. Just that he was a bit worried, you know, about uh, punch ups and things like that at the club over Christmas. Punch ups? What the? No way. I, I am far too busy. Jimmy, you'll have to do it. Uh, hang on. Let's just get this right. You're saying that you want me to keep an eye on the club? I don't care what you do. Just make sure everything's all right. I know nothing about nightclubs. And I'm telling you, as of now, you are in charge. Right, so you're giving me the go-ahead to be the manager of the club while Barry's away? Whatever. Just do it. Fine. Uh, sorry. I haven't got time to unload the car. Got a club to run. Oh, and uh, listen, by the way. All the best, eh? I thought they were all mates of yours. Old. I think it's because you're dead young. They just look old. They are old. They're still friends of mine. I don't know what to do. It's a doddle. All you do is walk around asking anybody if they'd like a drink, and then you get it from the table over there. The main thing is to be nice. If they talk to you, smile. And try and talk back. I don't know if I can. What do I talk about? Oh, you can do it. Just answer their questions. Julie? Show Rachel the ropes, will you? you come down. Enjoy yourself. It's Christmas. <laughs> Sam, I wasn't expecting you. Just a quick little visit. Not Max, give us a hammer. What's all this then? Ah, uh, well. A little something for your Christmas stocking. <laughs> for me? Merry Christmas. Oh, you shouldn't have it. It's far too extravagant. Well, it's all very nice, though, isn't it? Oh, you shouldn't. You really shouldn't. I mean, I haven't even got you a card or a pair of socks. Oh, nonsense. Now then, give me a hand. What for? And shut your eyes. Don't this... keep them shut and come outside. This is silly. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. This is madness. What are we doing? No peeping. What's he doing? <laughs> Don't ask me. <gasps> okay, Pen. Open your eyes. 
Merry Christmas. I don't believe it. Oh, he's trained, isn't he? Oh, 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 Sam, a chestnut. Yep, one three-quarter bread hunter. He's not called Wilbur, is he? Oh, I, I think I mean Mr. Ed. Actually, oh. he's called Kerry. This is crazy. I mean, the expense, it, it's, well, <laughs> completely over the top. That's Sam. No, no, it isn't. You told me how much you missed riding. I thought you'd like the opportunity to ride whenever you like. Of course, you can stay rent-free at my place. I don't think you'd like it too much in the back garden here. Oh, what can I say? Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And you, Max. Merry Christmas. Any sign of your errant partner? Yes, he's been in touch this morning. He can't make it home for Christmas, staying abroad till Boxing Day. Well, that offer of mine is still open. Would you like to come to Southport for Christmas? Well, I don't fancy rattling around here on my own. Yes, why not? Thank you, Sam. I'd love to. Great. I wouldn't be able to make it till after work tonight, though. Oh, no worries. Come on, Kerry. <laughs> Come on. And don't forget to bring some carrots for this fella. <laughs> Look, are you sure you're doing the right thing? I mean, if Barry found out... I'm afraid after what happened this morning, that's Barry's problem. I don't see why I shouldn't have a nice Christmas. <laughs> Everything going okay? Fine, yeah. Good. Everyone being nice, dear? Yeah. Well, uh, I thought you might like a, a drink, being Christmas and that. And I'd like you to meet some special friends of mine. Who? Oh, just some friends. I know you want your wages, though, so, uh... There you go. Wow, 20 pounds? Yeah, yeah, you deserve it. Look, uh, I won't be a minute. 20 pounds? Hiya. Yeah. This is Roger. You help yourself to booze, Roger, won't you? Thank you. Well, what's he doing in here? He just wants to have a drink and a talk with you. It's all part of your new job. But you need these, though. Best be safe, eh, Roger? Um, I'm just gonna have to go to the toilet. Look, don't be silly, Rachel. No, I should have gone before. I'm desperate. Honest. You've got one minute, all right? And then it's back to work. I'll only be a minute. One minute. These spring chickens, eh? So, what's Maguire doing here then? Here? Mom, turn tonight. I saw him driving off. He just came to ask after Rachel. Very friendly, I don't think. Really, he's not all that bad, you know. Surprise. I'm just packing up for the holidays, getting my shopping home and that. Well, this won't take long. Why are you still bothering Mum? Now, why would I want to do that? Oh, don't act so innocent. I saw you drive off about an hour ago. Why are you still pestering her when she's paid you off? Paid me off? Yeah, she paid you off out of a win at bingo. Oh, yeah, the big bingo win, of course. So why are you trying to get her into debt again? I'm not. I just called round to see if you'd heard from your sister. And what about the other times? You're never away. I've got quite fond of your mum, and I've got to know you all quite well. Yeah, well, I wish you hadn't. We don't want you hanging around the floor. Now, don't you think that's your mother's decision and not yours? She's not borrowing any more money off you. I don't want to lend her any more money. Then why keep coming round? Because I like her. And we... We have more than a borrower-lender relationship. Well, what do you mean by that? I don't want to discuss this with you, Beth. Well, I want to know what you mean. If you want to discuss me and your mother, ask her. But I'm afraid it's none of your business, sweetheart. Now, that's the end of it. I've got to go. Merry Christmas. Have a good one. Ah, 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 ah. Sorry, Maxie, we're closed. I need stuffing. 
Yeah, you said it, Maxie. <laughs> Sage and onion, I'll only be a minute. Maxie, aren't I entitled to Christmas Eve off? No, no, no. Uh, Jean sent this round. It's your panto costume. She's finished with the alteration. Shall I uh, send it back? Uh, uh, just hang on. Is that me, Cosy? <laughs> there you go. I've been dying to try this on. Now, about that stuffing. Listen, can you just hang on a minute? I'll put this on. You can tell me what my costume looks like. <laughs> I, uh, I hear Patricia's dad and Sinbad are in London looking for the Jordash girl. Any news? No, not so far. They're stuck overnight. Oh, what sort of a Christmas will it be for poor man's here? Now, if I can have that packet of stuffing. Yeah, the thing is, look, we've already cashed up, you know. Uh, well, I could owe you till after the holidays. Oh, all right. I'll just check with him first. Ron! Ron! I'll swing for him. <laughs> oh, Ron, it's perfect. It's just you. If he thinks I'm going out dressed like this in public, he's got another thing coming. He's combi, you know. He stitched me up, that father-in-law of yours. He has, he stitched me up. Where have you been? To see Kenny McGuire in his new office. What? What'd you go there for? Because I want to know why he keeps bothering you. <sighs> Why'd you do that? I've just told you I want to know why he keeps coming round here. He just does. He's... Well, he's a friend, sort of. How can a creep like that be a friend? You don't know. You don't know how considerate he can be. <sighs> no, but I know that he screwed a lot of money out of you. How can it be a friend of me? What is the attraction? <laughs> This is silly. You're being ridiculous. It means nothing when he comes round here. You're not seeing him, are you? No. Well, what am I supposed to think? If he's not coming here to collect money and you're not getting another loan off him, then you must be seeing him. It's not what you think, it isn't. Then what is it, then? It's, it's Christmas Eve and your sister is missing in London. I mean, how can you stand there accuse me of all sorts of stupid ideas you've got in your head? And just leave me alone, please. Oh, God, Ed, nearly give me an heart attack there. Sorry. And the end? Yeah, fair, thanks. Still don't know whether Ali deserves this or not. I mean, after what he's put us through. Yeah, cross my mind at all. Mind you, what if we didn't give him anything? That might make things worse. What would he do next? No, oh, I don't know. Oh, come on, love. Like my day. It's Christmas. Got to make the most of it. It's hard, though, isn't it? And Carl working over the holiday and lay him everything. I mean, we won't even see Becca. Sarah's not coming up? <sighs> Carl phoned her this morning. She doesn't want to know. Great. So, how are we going to give him this then? Yeah, I reckon so. Let's try and put all this behind us, eh? <laughs> not that easy, though, is it? Rachel's still missing. Look, I know it sounds hard, love, but we've got to think about Lee first. Okay. Hello, Mum. Rachel. Beth! Beth, she's back! Hello? Simba! Rachel's back. She's okay. <laughs> See you later. Bring Rachel's home and she's safe. Thank God for that. Where's she be? Well, I don't know all the details, but at least she's back home and she's safe. Right. Let's get a taxi to Houston and get home. It's Christmas. Yeah, come on, mate. Thanks very much for coming. Barmaid said you wanted to see me. Yes. Listen, I've got a club to run now, you know. I can't be coming round here doing any more odd jobs for you. I realise that, and I'm sorry about earlier. I'd like to apologise for snapping at you. That's OK. I was a bit upset because uh, Barry isn't coming home. I suppose, yeah. Well, as he's not going to be here, I've decided to spend the holiday with friends in Southport. Oh, very nice. And I was wondering, if I gave you the keys, whether you could look after the house while I'm away, you know, make sure the place is warm, if you're not too busy with your club work, that is. Oh, uh, I suppose I can manage her. Good. And I'd be really grateful if you could take all the food and things I bought They'll just go to waste otherwise. The food? Uh, yeah, I suppose I can, yeah. Right, that's settled then. I'll be going to Southport straight from the restaurant tonight, OK? Yeah, no problems, love, no problems. Oh. I believe my husband's here. 
Uh, oh yes, come in. Right, well, uh, I must be off. Oh. Spare keys are in the kitchen drawer, Jimmy. Nice one. Hey, all the best, eh, Pen? <gasps> Merry Christmas, both of you. <laughs> what the bloody hell are you playing us? I wanted you for shopping and you're around here sucking up to her again. Oh, no, love. She's the one doing the sucking up. She's just apologised for treating me like muck. Well, you better start sucking up to me, hadn't you? Because we've got no food in for Christmas Day. Never mind. What do you mean, never mind? What I say, never mind. Look at this locket. Lady Muck has gone to stay with mates, hasn't she, eh? Posh mates of hers, and she wants me to look after the house. She even wants us to eat all the food that she's got in and all. Are you joking? I'm not. What a Christmas, eh, love? Forget the shopping, cos we've got it all here, haven't we? And a nice luxury house to eat it in and all. Whoa! She, she didn't believe it. Love, this is our year, I'm telling you. I can feel it in me water. Merry Christmas, eh? Merry Christmas, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> She's so humiliating. Well, how did I know that all the trains coming out of Houston were going to be chocker? I mean, it is Christmas Eve, isn't it? Yeah, what a marvellous way to spend it. This rope would be lucky to get back for New Year's. Well, we were here on a mercy mission, weren't we? You did offer to come, you know. Yeah, yes, I know. At least she's safe. Yeah. Never mind. Soon be back home with the wife, eh? A nice warm bed. Dreaming about Audrey. <laughs> Have you any idea what you've put us through? We've had the police round, it's been in the papers, we've been worried sick. All right, all right. No, it's not all right. I mean, where have you been? What have you been doing? Well, I'm back now, aren't I? Is that all you can say? What do you expect me to say? Mum? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I've just been worried sick. Anything could have happened to you down Come there. Here. Can we please just forget any problems we've got for now? It is Christmas. Happy Christmas. Yeah. Happy Christmas. Brookside the magazine is out now with features and profiles on the cast. Price £1.95 on sale in the shops. Jimmy, is that you? Yeah. You all right, love? Where have you been? Yeah, I see a man about a dog. Mean? What'd I say? Listen, I've got a little surprise for you. Come on, girl. Oh, my God! Great, isn't she? Yeah. Two steps instead of three, then you're going to go flying. Takes you back, doesn't it? It certainly does. 
Do you remember that production of Romeo and Juliet? How could I forget? Parting is such sweet sight. You look wonderful in town. Happy days. And he says, there ain't nothing like a dame. And I say, yeah, and I bet you've never seen a dame like that before, have you? <laughs> well, surely nothing can go wrong now. Good Christmas, Major. Jean? Fine. One's Dr. Livingston here, got back from his travels. You? Quiet, you know. Chance of a slightly more intimate Yuletide greeting. Hey, Bing, can you give us hand a minute, mate? This bra stuff's giving me jip. Sorry, Audrey. Needs must, you know. Hey, hey, drop, drop. Good girl, yes. Where did it come <laughs> from, Jimmy? Oh no, she's a Christmas reject. Meet her, man. Bought her as a prezi, you know, for his kids. Only uh, she went missing. They found her halfway down the street, sellotaped to a skateboard. So we thought it best to get rid. So Mug and Scott wrote in, did he? Oh, my love. I thought you said you always wanted a little dog. Yeah, but not some scabby mongrel. I could be saying that. Hey, she's a pedigree, yeah? Look, see? Got a little bit of the boxer in her, haven't you, eh? Haven't you? Just because it looks like it's gone 15 rounds with Mohammed Ali doesn't make us a boxer. Saying that you're gonna hurt her feelings. Oh god, give me stress. Oh, can we keep it? Can we please, 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 please? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You feed it, you wash it, you walk it. Yes, no sweat. <laughs> so has it got a name then? Oh, I don't know. What do you reckon? Do you think that's a hint? <laughs> yeah, I do. Happy Christmas, cracker! <laughs> Working hard, Major. Uh, just dotting the I's and crossing the T's, that's all. You, uh, you couldn't come to my aid for a second, could you? Uh, yes, yes, of course. What is it you want? It's just that um, I've got this piece of mistletoe and nobody to share it with. <laughs> really? Look, Audrey, I, this is hardly the time for this. Major, I do wish we could spend all our Christmases together. Good grief, woman, please. Ah, so this is where you've been hiding, is it, eh? Lord! Turn it off, will ya? Turn it off! Stop! Off. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm looking for the boss. Look no further. Oh, pleased to meet you. Yeah, seasons, greetings, all that, you know. Nice mat. So, I believe you've been away. What have I had? Sorry, not much of a break then. Are you some sort of comedian? No, I, I'm not expressing myself very well. The name's Sam Martin. Yeah. And I'm a very hard man to track down, Mr. Grant. Oh, uh, yeah, well, it's all going, innit? Oh, I know the feeling. <laughs> hey, uh, Joe, do you fancy giving my office just a quick clean there, love? Go on, good girl. Not a bad little venue, this. Yeah, yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, what can I do for you, Mr. Martin? Uh, Sam. Oh, Sam, yeah, yeah. And I'm, uh, Barry. Oh, uh, clean up. The thing is, uh, I've got a proposition for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Yo. Speaking. Oh, all right, Jean, love you. Oh, I. Um, yeah, well, I don't know about that. But the electrics have gone. We are in complete darkness. Just for charity, you know. I don't suppose your bar takings would come to any harm. We can? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Jimmy. Bye. 
We're in. Thank God for that. Sorry about that, uh, Sam. Local charity in need of a favour, you know. Ah, man out of my own heart. It's good to put a bit back into the community, don't you think? Is right. Anyway, you were about to uh, proposition me. <laughs> so I was. Look, what I've got to say might take a bit of digesting. Why don't I take you out to lunch and we can chew things over with a glass of wine? Oh, sounds good to me. Mm. That's nice. You can see this with your other presents, didn't you? To bed with Happy Crimble of Mike. I feel like that is it. No, it's not. What, well, still just good friends? Yes, thank you. So Mike's bought all his friends' sexy underwear, has he? Oh, sorry. Right, I better consult out Miss Prim's washing. Top up? Just a very small one. And what was on your Christmas Day menu then? An intimate little turkey for two? <laughs> Hardly. Some had a whole crowd of people over. Oh dear. Oh no, it was great. I met all sorts of new people. Of the non Barry variety? Oh, the 40 something actually got a bit in common with me variety. So, where's Mr. Wonderful now then? Mucking out the horses? No, we've been press gangling to showing our faces at David's Panto. Oh, join the club. So, I think he's going to meet me round here. Is that wise? Well, why not? Well, what if Barry uh, turns up on the doorstep? What if? Well, do we all want to be seen together before we've got the chance to uh, explain? Oh, don't worry. Sam's on his way round to Lelouth even as we speak. You what? Well, yeah, he thought it'd be best if he explained the buyout deal to Barry himself, you know, make things less personal. Well, you can't just... We hadn't planned what we were going to say. Sam's thought it all through. Yeah, but I haven't. You're not backing out, are you? No. No, I just don't fancy being kneecapped for New Year. It'll be fine. But I think we'd better go around there and stop him. Why? Because I know Barry Grant. If you're going to tell him he's been had, then you've got to pick the right moment. And this is not it. Let's get going, eh? Don't know about you, I'm starving. Just want to say thank you. You saved the day. Oh, any time. All right, Bing. Thought you'd had the pants also done. <laughs> uh, we had a bit of a wiring problem back at base. Had to relocate the whole shebang to the nightclub. Oh, dear. Well, tell you what, do you need a hand lugging any of the gear, or what? Oh, yes. Thank you, Sinbag. That would be much appreciated. Yeah. Uh, you mucking in, Jim? Uh, can't. Business lunch. Oh. Jim. Uh, yeah. Everyone's gym up here. Scousers, you know. Day off. <laughs> oh, nice outfit. You nervous, mate? You're sweating cobs. <laughs> Sam! Oh, my God! Oh, well, that's that, then. Garbo's finished in the bathroom. Oh. Do you have a hand? No, thanks. What's the matter? <sighs> These. I found them in Rachel's coat pocket. Really? And what's she doing with condoms? I don't know. I haven't even talked to her properly about the shoplifting yet, and now this. Well, they've still got the wrapper on. Maybe they're just an unwanted present from Lee. Some hope. Well, what are you going to do? Well, I'll have to sit her down and ask her what really went on in London. The trouble is, I'm scared to hear the answer. Some Christmas, hey? Yeah. What with runaways, loan sharks and window cleaners. Mm. You know, I didn't notice anything under the tree from Sinbad. I thought we'd have at least called round from his pie or something. And we know what Thought did. Well, why hasn't he been round? Is it something to do with Kenny Maguire? No, it's not. Well, it's just that Look, look, I found out with some man over the way he charged in here and bought the house without even telling us. That's all. It's got nothing to do with Kenny Maguire. But why? So please leave it. There are more important things to worry about. Like who your sister might be sleeping with. Hi. Well, Sam. Mm. I'm all ears. OK, Barry. Now, you strike me as a straight-talking kind of guy, so I'd like to lay it all out for you up front. Go on. I've been taking a close look at your restaurant. Oh, and I like what I see. Do you now? 
I've got some capital lying around, which isn't really working for me, tax-wise, at the moment. And grants is exactly the kind of venture I'd like to put it into. <laughs> yeah, but... You uh... don't need a third partner, I know. But from what I hear, perhaps your enthusiasm for the heady world of the culinary arts has been on the wane for some time. Says it. Max, Penny, they think your heart's not in it. And let's face it, no business these days is going to succeed unless everyone concerned is 100% behind it. What do you get there? Something that might prove beneficial to everyone and give you the opportunity to step away. I'm offering to buy you out. Oh, right. Am I in with a shot then? I don't know. Uh, I'll have to think about that one. I knew as soon as I clapped eyes on you we could do business. Sam, we're both reasonable men, aren't we? <laughs> I'd like to think so. So listen, um, what do uh, Max and Penny think to this lot then, eh? They're with me all the way. Fair do. Particularly Penny. She seems to think a clean break would be ideal all around. Oh, does she now? In fact, Penny's with me in more ways than one. You are? There's no point in pretending otherwise, especially if we're going to close this deal. I met her while you were away. She told me all about your relationship, which unfortunately she felt was dead. We started as friends, but quite frankly, it's grown into something a lot bigger. What, uh, you and Penny? I'm sorry, I, I didn't think what feelings you might still have for her. You're welcome to her, mate. Sorry. Best of luck to you. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, we've done nothing but argue the last few months, you know what I mean? Oh, I, I didn't realise. Uh, but, uh, watch the arm plastic, mate. Because she'll bleed you dry if you don't watch out. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Well, Sam, here's to you, eh? I'm, I'm amazed you're taking this so well. Sam. I like you. Let's just say, uh, the best man won. It's just the three of us. Yeah, why? Well, I thought I might invite Sinbad around, seeing as he never came over for Christmas dinner. Don't you dare. Well, why not? Might somebody else be calling over? Like who? Like an over-friendly loan shark. No. Look, Kenny McGuire isn't exactly my idea of the ideal man. If you like him. Like him? I'm sure he's got his good points. God, you haven't got a bloody clue. Oh, come on. Just admit it, Mum. You're having an affair with Kenny Maguire and Sinbad found out about an it. An affair with that... Well, the guy virtually told me as much himself. Did he? What exactly did he say? That we had a romantic afternoon together upstairs by way of paying that loan off? What? I'm not having an affair with him. I slept with him because he said he'd clear my debts. Only he was lying and now he won't leave me alone. And that's what Sinbad found out and that's why he hasn't been near. Take my son-in-law, my dear. I wish somebody would. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's cheeky. He says to me, I'm going to dance on your grave. I said, I hope so. I'm getting buried at sea. <laughs> <laughs> and he's always in the pub. He's a drunkard. He come home the other night and my daughter said to him, oh, what do you mean by coming in here half spare. drunk? He said, I've ran out of money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to say my husband. Oh, hello. Husband. But that's not larger in there. Let me show you that punch, is there? I didn't know they were, but God, is he me. Oh, yeah. You know so, how's it going? All right. Your dad's good. <laughs> I just met two Spanish firemen, Jose and Osby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I did. So, when you give him Josh's Christmas present, oh, yes, all in good time. Oh, I had no option, Beth. I couldn't see any other way out of it. So you slept with him? I don't want Rachel hearing. How could you do it? 
Because I saw my children going without Christmas presents. I saw you throwing away your education. What's an eye with Kenny Bloody Maguire compared to that? And what about you? Oh, what about me? How could you sleep with someone and just let them use you like that? Well, I let your father a hundred times over. I'm used to it. So why does all this leave you and Sinbad? I don't know. Oh, if only you told me you had the money instead of trying to play Father Christmas. But it's not his fault. I know. I've made my bed. And the debts still aren't cleared. He conned me. I look a complete fool. Sorry. No, it's me who's sorry. <laughs> Hey, Cracker, here! Yeah, you're coming up in the world, aren't you? How do you mean, like? Business lunches with fellas in big cars. Oh, that, yeah. Well, come on, who was it then? Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> that, that creature's just urinating all over my arm! <laughs> <laughs> I can't continue. Good grief. Could, could somebody please remove that dog? And, uh, uh, can we get hold of a mop and bucket, please, before the next part of the show? Good doggy. Have a tough though, I mean. Where have you been? Having lunch with your partner. So he's back then? Well, it looks that way. Well, I was beginning to wonder what he'd done to you. You're not the only one. I don't know what all the fuss is about. OK, I know the guy's a bit of a maverick. What happened? He was a pussycat. Larry was. I put the deal to him. He said he'd think about it. <laughs> think about what he'd do to the three of us, more like. In fact, it went so well, I even told him about you and me. Oh, good God. And? He took it like a man. He, he didn't pull a shotgun out on you? No, not that I noticed. Bizarre. So why don't you get your family? Let's go after this infamous panto. Yeah, Patricia's already there. Uh, it's been moved to the club. So I believe. Which means Barry will be around. There's nothing to worry about on that score. Are you sure? There's only one way to find out. No, I suppose so. I'll, uh, I'll just get my coat. And now, finally, ladies and gentlemen, to bring our charity Christmas cracker to a close, a lovely ballad from that mellifluous mistress of melody, the one and only... <sighs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Miss Beverly Mack. I, uh... I'm Beverly Mack, and this is my song. The moment I saw you. What a racket! Somebody let that dog back on stage. Hey, that's no way to talk about Bev, Mum. Gave me the strangest feeling. Hey, listen, Sonny, about that earlier, love. She must have uh, got a bit excited. Sit. It's no excuse. What you do, spare your shoe? Just get it away from me. Look, right. yeah, you didn't try and give your leg one. How's the show? Hey, it's, 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 it's going all right, yeah. Is Barry back? I didn't even know he was back. Some partner, eh? Yeah, well, perhaps we'd be better off without him. Come on, Cracker. Come on, girls. A great way to end the show. I'm sure you'll all agree. Thank you, Beverly. That was wonderful. And now it just remains for me to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your enthusiastic attendance and, of course, for your kind pledges of money all of which will be donated in this, our inaugural year, to the Downs Syndrome Association. A choice of charity inspired by the personal experiences of two people very close to myself and to Mrs. Crosby. Our daughter Patricia 
and our son-in-law, Max. Oh, my God. Would you both please stand up and take a bow? Uh, Patricia's in the uh, ladies, um, changing Alice. Go ahead there, Maxie, lad. <laughs> hey, you were brilliant. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if anyone would care to join the cast for a seasonal mince pie and a glass of sherry, they're being served at the bar even as we speak. I like the song. Yeah, how about you, George? Do you have the hoods wasted on you? You should be on the stage. I know, London stage. I'm a comedian as well, eh? That's funny, me. Anyway, I've just come over to give my grandson a little Christmas present. Ta. I'll open it later. Open it now, hey, love. It's lovely, isn't it? I can't keep this. It's not for you. Come on, hey, love. I am not letting my son go through life with some cross round his neck. It won't do any harm, will it? Oh, you need to see the state of it to know what harm it does. So you're denying me the right of giving my own grandson a little Christmas present. I'll keep the chain, and I'll make sure he wears it. But as for this, no chance. Jack. Jackie! What's all this in Adolf? Lady bloody Penelope, she's back, isn't she? Well, I know that. Clean this place from top to bottom. There's still no sign of it. Hey, don't you be flapping over that snotty cow. Jimmy, she will go up the wall if she saw us we've stayed here. Yeah. And after what I've just heard, you and me are the least of our worries, kid. You are. Once Barry touches base, the crap is going to hit the fan. And Lady Muck is going to be up to her sweet little neck, isn't it? <laughs> And the Channel 4 video entitled Brookside The Women is now available, featuring classic clips from the first 12 years, along with some brand new material. Rachel. There's some stale bread in a the bag there. Is that my breakfast, is it? No, I just thought you might want to feed the birds for me. <coughs> Mum, I think you should talk to her about those condoms. She's going to notice they've gone missing. I know. I thought I might have a word with next door first, see if they can shed any light on it. Anyway, can't do any harm. I know. I'll nip round there on my way to the shops. Oh, you got to go down to the parade? Yeah, why? Well, you couldn't do me a favour, could you? What? Well, I've got this for Sinbad and I haven't had a chance to drop it in yet. You couldn't give it to him for me, could you? <laughs> nice driver, but I don't think so. Oh, well, I'll have to go give it in myself. At least I'll get me out of the Ice Maiden's way for a while. Grace and leave us too, I say. Yeah. There'll be a few people looking to emigrate when he gets back, I'm telling you. God, I don't know, yeah. Stays with that pen. <laughs> Do you see me? So you get asked, don't you, buddy? You gonna tell them the Yeah. 
when I've finished enjoying myself. Why are we gonna say? Mm, this and that. Jimmy. Listen, that cow is gonna regret the day she ever looked down there stuck up snake at me, I'm telling you. Don't do anything to ask her. I won't. I'm just gonna have a bit of fun. Starting tonight. Right. What's happening tonight? I am gonna treat my lovely wife to a top scram as an exclusive little resi I've just discovered. Sounds great. Yes. <laughs> it will be love. <laughs> Beth. Hiya. Hiya. How's it going? Oh, it's not bad. Did you have a good crimbo? Yeah, it was all right. I mean, what was the present like you got you? Oh, it was lovely. Thanks. Look at Corel. Oh, right. Yeah. So, uh, so what are you up to? Um, nothing really. Well, do you fancy coming round to ours to practice a few steps? Um, oh no, young lovers. Hi, Julia. Have you sorted out your fox drop from your fandango yet? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just going round to ours to work on a few moves, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, hiya. Uh, fine, all right. So, so if you need a bit of expert advice, then won't you? Simba, have you got a minute? Yeah, why? Oh, I'll catch up with you, okay? All oh, right, see you later. See you, mate. See you later. Uh, we're all right, Julie, you know, we're getting the hang of it now. Nobody gets the hang of ballroom dancing in five minutes flat. Especially not a big galoot like you. Come on, let's go to work. <laughs> oh, cracker. I needed a drink. <laughs> oh, very funny. Nah, it's all right, mate. You're welcome. So, uh, how's your mum? She's OK. You missing her? Yeah. She told me. She told you what? About Ken Maguire. I know what happened. Oh. oh. Been abandoned. Hey, they're just going the offy. What happened to do New Year's Eve? Oh. It, looking for a drink if you like. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Listen, I'm sorry about this, but can I have a quick word? Yeah. If your place or mine. Um. <laughs> Really ripping me heart out this, you know. I've got that get face stuck in my head. And I can see them together. And I just want to kill them. Well, there isn't much room left under the patio. I just wish I could get my head round it all. I mean, she could... <sighs> after all that's happened, after all we've said, and she just... <sighs> God, it took us the best part of 18 months just to build up the bottle for a kiss. And she just jumps into bed with well, that. I know it must be hard for you. You're not kidding. Well, how do you think I felt? I don't know. Well, it's not easy finding out that that's how your mum pays the bills. Oh, don't say that. Still sticking up for her. Well, I do love her, don't I? And so do I. And that's why we've got to try and understand why she did what she did. And you can. I think so. I think she did it for me and for Rachel. She just switched herself off and said, right, you can have what you want, but then leave me and my family alone. Yeah, but how could she go with him? How could she go with my dad all those times? After he battered her, after what he did to me. She did it because that is the only way she knew how to protect us. Yeah, but... Look, it's not about sex. It's about survival. I know. But how could me and your mum ever have... Well, how could it ever be normal after this? Because of love. Because what you have got is far too good to waste. It blows my dad, Kenny Bloody Maguire, and all this stuff right out of the water. Do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon. So what do we do now? I don't know. Have you any ideas? I know what I'd like to do. I'd like to go round to our friendly neighbourhood loan shark's office and shove that three grand right down his throat. Serious? Am I laughing? Well, can you afford it? Still got a few bob left, yeah? Well, what's stopping you? <sighs> Worrying about what your mum would say. Well, it's your money, and it'd get him off the back once and for all. It's true. 
So there's nothing she can say. Go for it. I am. Um, I found these in Rachel's coat pocket. Oh God. Exactly. Have you um said something to her? Well, I don't know what to say. Well, I asked Ali whether there'd been any funny business. What did you say? He shared a room, but that was it. Did he say whether they'd share the bed? No, he told me he'd slept on the floor. Did you believe him? <laughs> I did, but... How do you explain these? I suppose we'll have to ask Bonnie and Clyde. Do you, uh, do you think they've... I don't know. But at least they haven't opened them. <laughs> That's what Beth said. Maybe they bought them and then lost the bottle. Well, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, I'll uh, see what Ali's got to say for himself when he gets back. Yeah, it's about time I face the music as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah, look, um, if you're not doing nothing New Year's Eve, you know where we are. No, thanks. Well, good luck. Mm. You too. So what? Oh, sorry. Right. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Oh, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Give it a bit of time. Have you make a lovely couple? Anything interesting in there? Not really. Oh, I was still reading the bunty at your age, you know. Mm. Now it's all problem pages and helplines. If you want to borrow it, just say. Mm, no thanks. Uh, probably a bit too sophisticated for me. Hardly. I mean, you're also streetwise these days, aren't you? What? Well, look at you. You survived for more than a week in one of the biggest cities of the world. I wouldn't have known where to start. It was no big deal. No? I just had to get on with it. Yeah, but it must have been exciting, though, you and Lee together alone. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. I'm, I, I just worry about you, that's all. What are you talking about, Mum? These. Have you been going through my stuff? I was doing your washing, I'm sorry. I haven't done anything. No? No! Did Lee ask you to? No, look, they're nothing to do with Lee. Well, who are they to do with? I was meant to throw the stupid things away. Did you buy them yourself, then? No! Well, where did they come from? Please, Mum. Look, is, is there another boy on the scene? No. No, not really. Is this someone you met in London? Yeah. And did you stay with him? Yeah, but nothing happened. Did he want something to happen? But not how you think. His name was Nick. I met him after Lee came home. He was really nice to me. He let me stay his flat and everything. And nothing happened, but... Then he had this party. Well, that's when he gave me them. He wanted me to go with his mates for money. Oh, Rachel. I got away, though, before. I was so scared, Mum. I mean, how could anyone go with some fella for money? Oh, I don't know, love. Sorry, Mum. Oh, shush, 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 it's all right. Well, if it isn't George Formby, to what do I owe the pleasure? You're a satisfied customer. Oh, I satisfy all my customers. Yeah, well, uh, I'll ignore that since I don't have to put up with your smarmy crap for much longer. Oh, emigrating, are we? No. 
settling up. You want to be careful carrying that sort of money around. You could get mugged. There's three grand there. I'll take it. But you're not a client of mine. It's for Mandy. Oh, Mandy. Yeah, so, uh, she owes you nothing now. So you can get your kick somewhere else, can't you? Well, I'd like to oblige, but I can't. You are. My deal's with Mandy, not with a window cleaner. Oh, yeah. Dead funny. Just take it and get out of our lives. I just told you I can't. My contract is with Mrs. Mandy Jordash. She signed the agreement. It's her loan. Now, if she wants to come in here and pay the debt off, that's fine. But I can't have any Tom, Dick or Harry walking in here off the street shouting the odds. This is a business. Things have to go through the proper channels, OK? Just take it, will you? Anyway, I've got a sneaky suspicion Mandy likes the arrangement the way it stands. Sorry, what? Ah, take it. I've just told you I can't. Now, I've been very patient with you, but you're beginning to get ever so slightly up my nose. So my advice to you is get yourself home and get that back in your little biscuit tin where it belongs, OK, friend? Jimmy, what can I do for you? Come for a scram, kid. Hi. Well, I'm sorry, but we're absolutely chopping tonight. Oh, well, can you squeeze us in? No, can do. That's good, mate. Uh, hang on. Hey, mate, have you nearly finished there? Jimmy, can we back to your table next? Will you please go? Well, it's not very nice, is it? Unfortunately, sometimes the world isn't a very nice place. Leave us out. I don't think your mate Sam would be very happy. You treating me like this. Sam? Yeah, Sam. Well, like that. I mean, I was only saying to him yesterday at lunch. What? Oh, didn't you know? Took me out to dinner. Had a nice old chin like we did. Yeah, all lads together. But, um... Yeah, told me all about his plans. Told me all sorts he did. About his plans, you know, for this place, and a uh, few things he's got in mind for Penny, like. Are you telling me, uh... Bet your Barry would be really interested to hear what he had to say when he gets back. When he gets back? But I thought that that's a bit of sad to spill the beans, like. Sam thought you were, um... Good, eh? And you're not going to say anything, are you? Oh, I don't know. I have to think about that on the way to the chippy. Seems as there's uh, no room at the end. Well, I, I think we can squeeze you in somewhere. Oh, really? Oh, that's very good of you. Isn't it, love? Yeah. You'd like to follow me? Be so kind. Let me just leave it for a bit. We've had enough trouble for one week. Yeah, well, you don't have to get heavy, love. Just ask him. What? If he's had his oats recently? Well, we can't ignore it. He had condoms. I know, just... With him being stuck away and all that, I never got round to the Alberts in the Bee speech. I wouldn't know what to say to him now. Well, we've got to talk to him, love. Find out what's been going on. It's for his own good. OK, you win. I'll just get this lot sorted, then I'll lose out the brass knuckles and the cosh. Shouldn't take me that long to beat the truth out of him. Doesn't matter, love, honest. No, they're not on. You've got spuds in the kitchen, haven't you? Yeah. And a knife? Yeah. Right, we'll peel them, slice them, bung them in a bit of fat, and Bob's your uncle. No bloody chips on the menu. I'm telling you, if my wife wants chips, she gets chips. All right, son. 
Yeah, Tar. Uh, I hope you don't mind, but um, me and your dad need a quick chat. All right, I'll go upstairs then. No, with you, so bad. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's um, it's about London. Well, what about it? About you and Rachel. We stayed. What you did, all that. Well, I've already told you. Look, I'm I'm not being nosy, son, but uh, was there anything more to it than you said? No. Why? Because Rachel's mum found a pack of condoms in her room. What? You're not in any trouble or anything. We just want to know what's been uh, going on between you. Nothing. So, you haven't... Look, I haven't even been near her. Honest? Don't you believe me? Yeah, of course. Anyhow, why are you so bothered what I'm doing all of a sudden? Because <sighs> we care. No, you don't. We do. So why did you buy me a bike for Christmas? Hey. You're into bikes and cars and that, aren't you? No, I'm not. Me dad is. You don't know what I'm into. <laughs> we do. Yeah, so what's my favourite subject at school? You don't know, do you? Um. It's art. But I suppose you think that's for queers or something. Oh, safe. And my computer? I like going on my computer. But my dad thinks that's boring. So I have to pretend I'm into stupid bikes. Why didn't you say? Because you just don't listen. Max, wait a minute. You enjoy your meal, sir. Well, oh, yeah. Uh, compliments to the chef. All that, eh? We ain't, please. Trouble is, Max, uh, there's a bit of a problem. Oh, really? Yeah. I waited till Jackie went to laugh, you know. Didn't want to embarrass you. What problem's that? It's the bill. Mm, what about it? Oh, 54 quid, it says. So? Well, if I've done my sums right, I think you might have overcharged us. Very much. Well, it's a guess, I'd say, uh, 54 quid. Hiya. Oh, hello. It's freezing out here. Oh, sorry, come in. What's happened to your mouth? A late Christmas present from a friend of yours. What? It's Maguire. Well, he did that to you? Oh, yeah. Why? Well, I suppose I'd better tell you. He'll only be round here tomorrow gobbing off about it anyway. About what? I went round to his to pay off your loan. Oh, for God's sake! Yeah, well, I spoke to Beth about it. She thought it was a good idea. Well, what about me? Does my opinion count? I just wanted him out of your life. When are you going to get it into your thick skull that this is my problem, it's my life, and I'll deal with it in my own way? Yeah, and look where it's got you. Thanks. Really needed reminding of that. Sorry. So what happened? Well, I offered him the dosh. He wouldn't take it. I lost me rag and he split me lip. Wouldn't take it? Nope. So it had to come from you or from nobody. Oh, this is mad. Yeah, well, only one way to sort it out. Happy Christmas. Haven't you heard a word I've said? I don't want your money. God almighty, I can't even give it away. I'd just be swapping one debt for another. Oh, that's bloody ridiculous, and you know it. I've got to do this on my own. All right, fine. OK, you be a big hero. Do it all on your tod. I mean, why swallow your pride and let some dickhead like me help you? I mean, who am I anyway? Just a fellow that loves you, that's all. Anyway, if you do change your mind, you know where I am. <laughs> hey. The gob or Max when I told him about Sammy. Oh, no. Listen, I think we should go back there again tomorrow, the boss. Don't go pushing your luck. No way. Aye, aye, crack. Shove up, matey. Hey. Yeah. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you saw what he was like. Oh, don't go saying anything to Barry, will you? Hey? I am going to milk this to I have and tell on you. Yeah, I know, I am. Come in. Jimmy? <laughs> what? Not when the dog's watching. Hey, crack it down. Down. Good girl, go on. Come here. <coughs> so, what aren't you going to tell Barry about? Oh, my God. Uh, Barry, what are you doing here, mate? All the flights were full, weren't they, for New Year's Eve? So I had to come back early. What are you doing here? Uh, Sleeping in my bed, 
eating my food. Who do you think you're at, eh? The three bears? Uh, no, uh, we're just looking after the place for you, aren't we, Jack? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Have you seen the state of it up there? It looks like a bomb city. Yeah, well, uh, Jackie will tidy that for you, won't you? Look? Come yeah, of course. Well, I'll do it now, shall I? And can you tell me what's that? Uh, uh, that's cracker. Say hello to Barry, cracks. You cheeky Barry, little... you should be thanking me, mate. For what? For keeping an eye on the enemy while you've been away. What enemy do you... Listen, you don't know the half of it. They're stitching you like a kipper. Who is your mates, Max and Penny? And this Ponce one, Sam, that she's on with. You what? I'm telling you, this Sam fella, he's minted. And he's going to try and buy out your share of the restaurant. And in Penny's... Yeah. Giving him one. <sighs> Sorry, boss. Well, how do you know all of this? Well, I keep my ear to the ground, don't I? Jimmy, this better not be a wine. Barry, or... I am telling you, it's true. The three of them, they're all in it together. Right. Right, well, you better get your gear together. The party's over. Well, what are you going to do, like? Well, that's my business, isn't it? Well, you keep that shut. Say nothing to no one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah of course not, boss, yeah. Nobody does this to me. Nobody. A Channel 4 book, Brookside Life in the Close, is out now in bookshops priced at £14.99. Place is down to you. What are you on about? Wasn't that bad? A gang of jippos have been squatting here. Hey, you! Just hang on, will you? So, uh, who knows your back, boss? Well, Max, Bev's just been over there, hasn't she? Mm. So, what's the plan then? Well, I'm going to see the new year in with a bank, same as everybody else. Oh, uh, nice one. So, uh, you having to do then? Yeah. Shame, really. I haven't been invited to anything. I don't suppose me and Ron could, um... I tell you what, if you get the place spotless, I'll think about it, all right? By the time I've finished, you'll be able to see your face in this carpet. Jimmy, will you do us a favour? Just mm. get us uh, the spit of booze and some scan now. Mm. Yeah, there's a few bob for you, all right? Listen, uh, sure you're in the party mood, like? Me? That's your right, I am. So who's on the guest list, then? Just have to wait and see, won't you, Jim? Get in, for God's sake. Where the hell have you been? Friendly, isn't he? I took Bailey out to the Lake District the other day. We decided to spend the night. Didn't you get my message? Yeah, that's why we came straight over. You weren't making much sense. What's the problem? He's back. Who is? Barry! I thought we established that fact three days ago. <sighs> that him, is it? Yeah without his dog for a change. So, that's the Barry Grounds you spilled your guts to. Yeah. Oh, God. You've been had. Dad. All right, kids. I thought you were playing on that kaplunk game. We got bored. Why don't you and Jim's go and play with the Lego, then? We will in a minute. We've got a present for you. Hey, you gave me enough presents on Crimbo Day, babe. We found this one under the tree. We must have got to open it. What is it? Have a look here. Yeah. So much. Who 
Who's Ron? From Maria. Ron, you put it on? Yeah, I went with the sun. Is Marianne coming back, Dad? I don't think so, babe. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Dad. We'll be all right. Yes. What more, son? Surviving. What happened to your gub? Oh, I don't ask. So, got your New Year's Eve sorted then? Well, I was just going to ask you the same thing. I think I'll have a quiet one, you know. Do well. I was going to see if you fancy coming to the banks to stay with us. Well, Eddie was in before and he invited me, like. It's very nice of him, but oh, I'm not fussed, you know. I'll oh, get out of it. Anyway, look, I couldn't even get a babysitter. Well, you don't need one, do you? I mean, Leo's big enough to look after his little sister, aren't you, mate? Yeah. Go to the party, Dad. <laughs> yeah, you asked you. Oh, he's like, you can't sit in on New Year's Eve. I, I don't know, sir. Good almighty. Come on, kids. All those in favour of your dad going out and having a good laugh for a change, but as I'll make Sinbad say aye. Aye. It's the same every year. I think you only invite me to these Jews to stick Marge on your buddies. Well, you do have a reputation for spreading them better than anyone else, Gav. Tarby lives or what? Now, now, you two. Have I got permission to down to us a minute? I'm dying for a week. <sighs> You're as bad as he is. I'll see if I can grab Lee on the way down, eh? Get him on cling film duty. No, er, uh, leave him, mate. Yeah, he'll be um, playing with his computer. That what they call it these days? Really? OK, but he's going to end up with square eyes. <sighs> Pack the bike up, you know. Yeah? Yeah, I'm taking it back to the shop. Don't you think we should talk to Lee first? <sighs> I think it's all been said, love. But anyway, besides, from ten minutes, Christmas morning, he hasn't even looked twice at it. No. I'll be able to get my money back then. We can ask him what he wants to spend it on. OK. We're going to have to try a bit harder, aren't we? <sighs> At least, well, at least he talks to you. But sometimes. God knows what he thinks of me. I've been forcing engines and cars and bikes down his throat since he was in nappies. Must have done his head in. Well, he put up one hell of an act. You can't blame yourself. <sighs> yes, I can. I've used too much of that and not enough of them. Look where it's got us. Right. How's your lip? Mm. All right. Uh, can I ask you something? Yeah, fire away. I've got that three grand on you. Straight up? Yeah. I think it's about time I gave my stupid pride a rest, don't you? Well, as far as King Kenny's concerned, I do, yeah. I thought to go round to his office now, get it over with, uh, if he's still got the cash line around. Well, not with me. It's, uh... Under my mattress. So what made you change your mind? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, well, I don't think I've been very fair on you, comparing you to Maguire all the time. Yeah, well, I did make a bit of a knob of myself, didn't I? No, you didn't. You tried to help, but I was so wound up, I couldn't see it. Fair to us. And I honestly don't think that owing you the money is the same as owing it to him. Well, I don't want you to owe me anything. You can have the money. I don't want you to be holding to me. I can't. Well, you're going to have to. Otherwise, you can't have it, all right? Oh, you're mad. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, thank you. So, uh, we're still chucked. Well, uh, we'll have to see, won't we? Will you take me to the Banks' party, then? Well, I am going, like, but there's, uh, a bit of a problem there. What? I've already got a date. Oh, who? Mick Jono. Come on, let's have a nose under this mattress. Excellent. Well, if my performance as a tally man is up to scratch, we have made a grand total of two hundred and sixty-three pounds and seventy p. Well done, us. <laughs> here, here. Oh, hello, Audrey. Come in. Major, oh. we'd just been totting up the takings of the pantomime. How much did you say we'd made? It was... Well, I hope it was in excess of £250. Just about. Why? We just had the estimate in for the damage we did to the church hall. But surely they're covered. They must be. How much? Oh, let me guess. £250. Give or take a few pence. <sighs> After all that effort. The vicar's anxious to settle up as soon as possible. I'm sure he is. 
Perhaps in future he'd like to concentrate his mind on the odd earthly matter, such as insurance, instead of leaving the whole thing to God. Yes. Well. Oh, come on. Take that oh, don't you. shoot the messenger. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Audrey. Oh, what's the use? Well, I, uh, I think I'd better go. Anything lined up in the way of festivities for tonight? No, just me, Big Ben and a drop of malt. You're not out celebrating? Oh, I haven't enjoyed New Year's Eve since Andy Stewart passed on. I used to love his show. You can't sit in on your own. Look, David and I have been invited to a party by our next door neighbours. It should be rather good. He knows some dubious types by all accounts. Well, it's very kind of you, but... You'd uh... rather sit on your own and get maudlin? No, I thought not. Why don't you come with us? Thanks. And bring that bottle of malt. Bye. Bye. He's definitely heading this way. Just everybody keep calm. Barry, hi. Morning, Christmas, Max. Thanks. Come in. Well, hey, you look great. Thanks. How, <coughs> how was Spain? Uh, it was sunny. Hi. Oh, so this is where you've been holed up then? Yeah, I've uh, been away for a few days. Yeah, Jimmy's sad. Has Terry? He's all right, considering. Did Jimmy mention anything else? What about? I, I don't know. Um... Oh, well, he told me that you told him to keep an eye on the club. Oh, yeah, well, things have been a little hectic at the club. Uh, I mean, the uh, restaurant. Well, that's all right, Max. Don't panic. I understand. Oh, good. So, uh, don't even get a hug, then. <laughs> that's better. I've uh, got some presents for the kids here. Oh, thanks. There you go. One for my partner. I'll give you yours later. Is nobody going to introduce us, then? Sam Martin. Barry Grant. Have we met somewhere before? I don't think so. Uh, Sam's an old friend of the family. He lives up past Southport. When he heard I was up here, he uh, very kindly invited me over for Christmas for a few days. Oh, well, that's nice. Better than being stuck over there on your own, I suppose. That's what I thought. So you can return a compliment now, can't you? Sorry? I'm having a New Year's Eve party, so I hope everyone can make it. Yes, yes, I think so. Good. Right, well, I'm going to the restaurant to check on things there, and uh, I'll see you all after the party, eh? See you, Sam. Fine. Bye-bye. Do you think he knows? No. Couldn't hide it that well. You sure? Well, it's only a matter of time before Jimmy shoots his mouth off. Or tries to spot a blackmail. Either way, we've got to tell him soon. So, tonight's the night, then. Come in. Mandy, how nice to see you. I was just about to leave, yeah, but... Don't worry, this won't take long. That sounds interesting. Goodbye, Mr. Maguire. You know, I've just had a sense of deja vu. And don't you ever come near me or my family again. I take it this comes courtesy of Fatty Arbuckle. It doesn't matter where it's from, we're quits. Well, wouldn't you rather keep things the way they were? Are you mad? No, just rather fond of our little setup. Well, you're gonna have to live without it. Sorry. Okay, have it your way. But when you get home, Check the small print in our contract, won't you? Think you'll find something called an early repayment clause. A lot of mortgages, pensions have them, that sort of thing. What it means is, if you pay back the full amount of your debt within 18 months, then you owe me another 33%. But you, you can't... That's criminal. Oh, I'm sure there's nothing in the law that says so. Just protecting my profit margins, that's all. So? So, quick calculation off the top of my head, I'd say you still owe me, ooh, £1,000. Now, it's up to you. You can start again from scratch with the 1000 or you can take your money back and we'll see how it goes. I know what I'd rather do. Mandy. Happy New Year.
thank Jean yet for inviting me along. Oh, I think nothing of it. Though, to be honest, I shall be sad when this year ends. Really? In here. 1994 will always belong to us. Let me get you another drink. All right. Where's the missus? Babysitting. Barry about? No, not yet. Take your coat, Sam. Well, if it isn't Mike Yarwood. Oh, you two make a lovely couple. Is the corpse coming tonight? If by the corpse you mean Dee Dee, no. She's had to do over the road. Thank God for that. Is Barry often late for his own parties? I'd say it was about par for the course. Well, I hope he turns up soon. I just want to get this over and done with. <laughs> the book league is now officially declared open. Fill your boots. I thought you'd be in town with your mates tonight. Well, it's not much happening. I think this would be your style. Well, it isn't really, but the town will be chocker. Anyway, I promised to meet Beth after. Oh, it's like that, is it? No, no, just someone to keep her company, you know. I believe you, thousands wasn't. <laughs> so you uh, sorted it all with Rachel, then? <laughs> yeah, I think so. What are we going to do with a pair of them, eh? <laughs> God knows. Are we um, sticking with this ban on them seeing each other? Well, I was going to ask you that. I think there's any point. Um, I don't think we could stop them if we tried. No. What do you reckon, then? Give them another chance? Yeah, why not? We could live to regret this, you know. <laughs> it's very kind of you, man. I couldn't possibly. David, take the money, please. You can afford it. Afford what? Ah, oh, mine host at last. Uh, David's had a bit of a disaster with the charity do he's organising, and Sam's off to make good losses. It was a panto, wasn't it, David? Uh, yes. Drove the CHO, didn't you? How do you know that? So how much do you need? 250 pounds. Right, well, uh, seeing as it's a good cause, I'll send Jimmy round with a cheque in the morning. I think you can put that away. We're all thieves round here, you see. <laughs> Guys, you've been in the pub all this time. Yeah, so I get the memories. Yeah, yeah. Are there any nice looking girls here tonight or what? Pardon? Well, not for me, I mean for me, you know. You stayed, not what? Yeah, I know, but I don't mean. Yeah, I know, ones you'd look twice at. Yeah, I think you could do with a bit of light relief, you know. That Marianne chipped him, didn't she? Yeah, she did, yeah. I'll see what I can do. All right, thanks, man. So, uh, did you visit McGuire or what? He wouldn't take it. You what? Well, he would, but he said there was some ridiculous early payment clause that meant I still owed him a thousand pounds. Are you kidding, aren't you? Yeah, well, I wish I was. So what did you do? What could I do? I kept hold of the cash and came home. Oh, God, so he still got his claws into you? This is unreal. Wait a minute, gorgeous. There's someone I want you to meet. <laughs> Nearly midnight, still no sign of her. Who? The love of your life. Looks like you have to settle for giving your poor old mum a peck on your cheek. Not here. Why not? It's my house. Uh, someone might come in. So? Don't you think we should wait till midnight? I can't. I've missed you. Me too. Listen, I know we left things up in the air when I went away. But, uh, the more I think about it, the more I think me and you were made for each other. So, listen, I really want to make a go of things now. Maybe even try for that baby we were talking about. Look, I think we should talk first. Talks to you. Say to us, I'm going to Yeah, we'll do all the best when we can. Take care, mate. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Nice. Uh... <laughs> Happy 
Let's hope it's an improvement on the last one, eh? Mm. Oh, I didn't think you'd make it. Oh, I've had a brilliant night. I've probably worked for the past two hours. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you got here anyway. Yeah, me too. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Mike. <laughs> So, have you made any resolutions? Yep. Decided to stop changing crappy nappies. From now on, they're all yours. <laughs> Now's the time. Let's tell you. Patience, Max. New Year's kiss, eh, Major? <laughs> Who's for a chorus of old Lang Syne? Before you get the singing going, I'd just like to say a few words. It's uh, been a very interesting year, to say the least. The club's gone from strength to strength. The restaurant's finally up and running. Things are looking good. And I think that's, well, down to a couple of partnerships that I've formed this year. A business one with Max Farnham and a slightly less formal arrangement with uh, Penny Crosby. I think it's fair to say that without these two, the success I've had over the last year, well, it wouldn't have been the same. It makes you wonder, really, doesn't it, why either one of them would want to try and stitch me up because that's exactly what they've been trying to do with that jelly over there. And not only that, because Miss Sweetness and Light herself has been knocking a slice of our friend Sam into the bargain. And you know what the saddest thing of all is? They actually thought they could get away with it. Barry, listen. No, shut up, you, you spineless little blit. Look, there's no need to be... Button it, Lady Muck. Right, I've got that off my chest, so now let's enjoy the party. Anyone for a conga? Good idea, Jean. Ay, 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 conga. 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 Right. I've got your stuff together. It's upstairs. Packed. Fair enough. We need to talk. You're lucky you can still talk at all, you. No, Max is right. Look, don't you start telling me about right or wrong. I think you'd better get out of here before I do something that I might regret. I'll pick my things up tomorrow. <laughs> hey, yes, you're being gate clashed, are you? Oh, great, that's all I need. I'll leave it, eh, hey, Mum? It's a party, innit? Happy New Year, kids. Do you want to tell you about Maguire? Yeah. Yeah, I've just about had me whack of that get. Mm. Yeah, well, we've got to get him off our backs once and for all. How do we do that? I don't know, but I'm pig sick of playing Mr. Nice Guy all the time. From now on, there's no rules. And one way or the other, I'm going to have him. So then, Mike, made any interest in New Year's resolutions? Yeah, I'm going to tell people exactly what I think of them. I hope that's not yours and all, do you, Dee? Don't think Mia's going to take it. No, mine's much more straightforward than that. Oh, why? I'm just going to make sure that my grandson gets baptised. Oh, God. That ain't more. Here we go. That's it. Laugh away, but I'm going to make sure it happens. Not. Look, can't we just leave this out for one night, please? Why don't you want your grandson christened? Because that's up to Bev. And Josh's father. Oh, no, look, look, this has got nothing to do with me, OK? I am not having my child brought up with some loony voodoo left footer just cos this crack cow thinks she's a cross between Mother Teresa and Joan of Arc. All right, Bev, all right. That's a bit harsh, isn't it? Nothing she says can harm me anymore. Whose side are you on? Well, what harm would it do anyway? You were over at christening yourself six months ago. That was before the singing nun stuck her all in. I mean, do you seriously think I'm going to let my little lad get brainwashed by that? Dream on.
profiles on the cast of Brookside are out now in the official magazine in the shops for £1.95. Next on ITV, Missing at New Year, and here on 4 in a couple of minutes, Ellen meets the salesman who can't sell and then gets the green light to guilt. No sign of life around at Barry Grant's. You should have gone straight round there the morning after the party. Say what? Sorry about the hostile takeover bit. Oh, and I'm sorry about your girlfriend dumping you. He wouldn't have been very receptive to that. Well, you're going to have to talk to him sometime. You're still officially his business partner. He's just so aggressive. Kicking his all out like that. Well, perhaps it wasn't the best way for him to find out. Yeah, I could kill Corkill for this. No, he just preempted things a bit. Barry would have found out somehow. Well, I suppose the restaurant buyout's history now. Why? Well, he's hardly going to be in the mood to be approached again. If Sam's still interested, so should we be, Max. There's too much at stake here. Like our home being tied up with the business and a partner who's completely unreliable. Now, at the first opportunity, we should tackle him. You have to make so much noise. Oh, sorry. Was I making a noise? Yeah, you were. Well, maybe you should have got someone else in. Look, all these plates and things are from the restaurants. You work in the restaurants. I just want them out of here. I, uh, didn't see Penny in over the weekend. I had to stand in for her. You know, with you not being there either. Yeah, it's, uh... Will she be coming back? If she's not, and you need someone out front greeting the customers and that, I'd be able to do it. Look, just wash that lot, dry it, stack it, and then get out of here, eh? There you go, love. Thanks a lot. Hi, hi. Hi, Dad. Just popping in to see how things are, you know. Oh, yeah. How much did you want, son? Hey? Eh? Come on. Just popping in to see how things are. I'll pull the other one, will you? Well, I wouldn't normally ask, but I've got this medics ball tomorrow, and I need to buy the DJ. Ah, you mean this thing with your Beth? Worry not, because your owl fella has got just a thing. There you go. I dug that out for you. What's that? That, son, is the suit that launched me on my stage career. What, is it that old? Hey, look at it. That's quality, that, you know. They don't make them like that anymore. I'm not surprised. Oh, come on, Dad. Dad, not. I'm getting no, the back try it. No, you're joking with me, aren't you? Michael, what is the point of hiring one when you might have the ideal thing there? I mean, just look at the condition that's in. Look at it. No one would have believed that was 20 years old. I would. Yeah, well, never mind that, eh? There's a nice shirt and dicky bar there as well. Get them on, we'll see how you look. Morning. Hiya, Penny. Hi. Is Barry in? Yeah. Hey, you gonna sort that lot out. I'll do this. We'll just come round so uh, I can get my things. Nice. Sorry, ladies only today. It's all right, Sam. You sure? Always help me. There was no need to behave like that. Well, what did you want me to do? Kiss him? Don't be bitter, Barry. Well, I thought that was the only way to be when you come home and find that some ponce has tried to take over your business and your woman as well. I'll get my things. Thanks, love. Set out now. Yeah. Right, come on, son. Let's see you. Don't be shy. I can't wear this. Dad, I look soft. Hey, I'll be the judge of that. I know all about fashion me. Now, come on, let's have you out here. They are. Now, what's wrong with that? 
Apart from the fact I look like a knobhead, you mean? Hey, don't you remember that Jason King fella used to be on the telly? Now, we used to dress like this. I tell you what, the women went mad for him. They used to mad for, like, this sort of gear. Hello. What's all this? Bing, I want you to give me your honest opinion on our Michael's new outfit. I know it needs a bit of a clean-up, so don't let that influence you, but, uh, what do you think? Well, I think that's rather smart. They are. Personally, I've always rather liked these bell-bottom things, but I was never brave enough to wear them. Dad, I look soft. Come on. We'll get the kecks taken in. I'm gonna look a laughing stock. I don't look like some sad 60s reject. Come on, I need to hire a proper DJ, please. All right, all right, but I think you look dead smart. Nice one. At least I'll be like a well-dressed bloke with two left feet now. Ah, and I've come up with a brainwave for that, no? Bing, you could show him how to get around a dance floor, can't you? Me? No, you're all right, Dad. No, no, he doesn't mind, do you, mate? Well, it's just I'm a bit pushed for time at the moment, Ron. Oh. Well, if it's not going to be you, I suppose that would have to go second best and ask Julia. Julia Brogan? Well, if you think that he'd be better off under their supervision. No, 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 of course not. I'm, I'm sure I could fit him in. Oh, great. Well, he can take him through a couple of steps now, then, can't you? Dad. Yes, yes, why not? No time like the present. Let's see. We can start with the waltz. Classical, elegant dance. Come on, Michael. Here we are. Now, hold me. Nice and close. That's it. Now, what you do is you go back on your right foot, back on your left foot, up on your toes, and together. All right, here we go. And one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Don't worry, Michael. I'll have you dancing in no time. There you go. What's this? What's this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Come in. Hi, hi, Sven. Right, Jim. What's this? Is it helping you on your drugs round now? Doesn't look like it's my head. Hey, <laughs> don't be getting all lonely about it, you. I provide a service, that's oh. all. And as I move up the league, right, I need some extra muscle. Like Cracker, to keep the punters from getting any ideas about ripping me off. People are going to fear me soon, I'm telling you. Now, go away, Jim. I'm um, telling you. Hey, it's all about bottle. Listen, when you threaten someone, you've got to make them think that you'll do it. Doesn't matter how big they think they are. All right, then, well, if it's about bottle, I mean, suppose, um, someone was giving you a bit of grief and you wanted them out of the way. Well, what's all this about? Well, actually, there's a mate of mine who's having a bit of a problem, you know. Oh, aye. And how much, uh, grief is this mate of yours getting, Mike? He's getting loads. It's doing my head in. Huh? Well, it's doing his head in, really. It's doing my head in because he's been mate. This is you, innit? <sighs> Come on. What lumber are you in? I'm not in any lumber, do you mean? It's... Well, it's for Mandy. I just want somebody off her back. All oh, right. And you just want me to make him an offer he can't refuse, is that it? Oh, be serious with you, Jimmy. Who do you think you are? Don't call you only... No, I just, you know, want this person scared enough. You know. You're talking big bucks, you know, kid. Friend or no friend? How well, much? I don't know. What's the going rate on the streets? A grand? Well, a thousand quid. You don't want a Mickey Mouse job, do you? Hey? Anyway, it's up to you. Think about it. If you want it doing, give me the details and the dosh and... All right. Oh, yeah. And I'll, uh Take him out for you. Come on, crack it. Hey, Carl. Listen, uh, do you fancy coming round to Old Man Crosby's with us tonight? I've got a bit of a dance lesson. Just you and him? Well, and you if you'll come, Mike. Oh, go ahead, come on. I just don't want to be left on my tongue with him all night. All right. Nice one. OK. Fine. Look, uh, I suppose thank you is the wrong thing to say. Look, no more speeches, eh? Everything all right, boss? Yeah, fine, Jim. I, uh, I hope we can deal with this in a civilised fashion. What, instead of going behind people's backs, you mean? <laughs> Do you mind? Oh, it's only an to that, love. Oh. Look, I want to apologise for the way things have turned out. It's not my usual way of going about things. Yeah, I'd like to tell her. Yeah, see ya. There is still the matter of the restaurant. Max and I have been putting some figures together, and we think... Look, that... you're still not going to make me an offer on my restaurant, are you? Your restaurant? It is a partnership. Oh, yeah. My loyal and trusting partner, Max, eh? Why don't we keep this as businesslike as possible? I'll make you a generous offer. In fact, I think it's more than generous. Oh, just do one, eh? You might at least see the offer first. Oh, I said do one. No one makes a dickhead out of me, all right? Is that the way you usually do business? Well, it gets things sorted, doesn't it? There was no need for that. Well, just do one, will you, the parties? Yeah, go on, beat it, or I'll set the dog on you.
Nice one, boss. Are you glad that's all over with, eh? Well, not quite, Jimmy. I've still got a few things to sort out with my so-called partner, Max. Right, I'm off. I'll uh, see you down at the restaurant tonight, then, and I'll bring the dishes down. Er, uh, no. When I say I'm off, I mean I'm finished for good. I resign. What are you on about? You just belted a fella out there. So? What do you expect him to do? All right, Jimmy. I just don't like that sort of thing. Oh, so he's supposed to let that pillock walk all over him, is he? Jimmy, will you just shut it? I'll see you around. I don't need you as me spokesperson, all right? I'm the boss, I was only defending you, wasn't I? Hey, listen, me and Cracker will be round any time. Bit of muscle, you know. I don't need any muscle, Jimmy. Now, when you get round to the club and sort it out, and get that dog off the furniture, I told you it should be in the garden. She's house trained here, eh, boss. Dead intelligent, honest. All right, then I'll tell you what. We'll send the dog down the club and you go out in the garden. Now get moving. Yeah, all right. Do you need an end dealing with Maxi Farnham or what? No, you're all right. I'll sort it myself. Come on, crack. up with Granty. Why was that? Well, I've never really liked him or the way he treats people. So I've walked out, jobless again. Oh, no. So I thought I'd come and catch a coffee off you. <laughs> I'll tell you the details later. Oh, hello. Who's this? This is Emma. Emma, Julia. Julia's teaching me how to dance. Hello, hello. She's coming to the minutes ball with us. Oh, very nice. You don't mind if we do a bit, do you, love? No. <laughs> right. One, two, three, four. Hey, I hope this honk you blind me up with can dance. Well, there's a bit of a problem there, Emma. The guy you were going to go with is going with someone else. Oh, wait, so I'm going to be some big gooseberry all night? No, I'm sorry. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing great, love. But don't forget to keep your head up. Very feminine life. All right, I won't. You'll have to go to David Crosby's and get you and your boyfriend together. Um, maybe not. Don't worry, I'll do the talking. I just want to know what Stan does is up to. Now, um, what are you wearing? What well, I got this. What do you think? Oh, it's nice. It's not too low cut, is it? You don't want to show too much. Some of these fellas get the wrong idea. <laughs> I like girls. Hi, oh, hello. <laughs> hi, hi. Dance pretty, eh? Come here, Julia. Oh. Do the tango. <laughs> Well, you must be good if you can do it to a quick step. <laughs> no, I knew that. I knew it was a quick step. Yeah. Oh, what's this? <laughs> oh, a few sequins on that. No man on air to be able to resist. <laughs> Thank you very much. It cost me a ten of that, did. What I'd do with that Oxfam, I don't know. Is it second down? Right. A quick cover. Then we'll go and see how the opposition's doing. Um, can I have a quick word? Yeah. There you go. Buy yourself a new frock. No, I can't take this. No, please. Now, it's your first big dance, and I don't want you having to tell people you're wearing second-hand gear. Are you sure? Yeah, take it, please. Oh, well, thank you, Simbad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's embarrassing, this, almost living off handouts. Maguire only makes things worse. Yeah, well, uh, with a bit of luck, he's going to be well out of the picture soon. How come? Well, I've uh, sorted someone who's going to box it off for us once and for all. Dum, dum, dee, dum, dum, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, slow. Ralph's on, eh? It's all right, it's all right, Michael, don't lose heart. I've known people with less rhythm than you get round a dance floor. Carl, music, please. Sure, Mr. C? Now, you see, the thing to remember with the quick step is fluency, grace, and romance, yeah. right? You see, it's um, up on the toes, right? Yeah. And slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah. It's just remembering and all that sort. Well, the correct footwear would help. Those plimsoll old things don't exactly lend themselves to ease of movement. Carl, music, please. Right, here we go. 
Now, remember, a firm hold is essential. No, 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 no. Don't, don't squeeze your partner. It's not a wrestling bout. There's plenty of time for squeezing later. Right, so here we go. One, two, three, four. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. There you go. Yeah. Much, much better. At least my shins escaped on that occasion. <laughs> Looks hard work, mate. Yeah, it is. I guarantee when you dance with these young ladies tomorrow, they will be amazed at your prowess. Oh, well, it should be all right. I'm only dancing with one girl, so she'll be able to get the hang of it. I didn't realize you had a partner. Yeah. You should be here now. Well, I'll go and get her now. It's only Beth. The your dash girl? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Michael, uh, time's getting on. I'm afraid that uh, I'll have to call oh, it a day. Come on, Mr. Crosby, just a few more goes, please. No, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I've got a lot of things to do. He looks soft dancing with Beth, if she's dead good. Yeah, Julia's teaching her. She wants to teach me as well. Come on, please. Julia Brogan? Yeah, but I reckon you're an experienced tutor. He could have been a pro, couldn't he, Carl? Yeah, definitely. Well, I suppose I, um, I suppose I could spend a little more time. I suppose, I suppose. We do have a task on our hands here, don't we? Carl, music, please. Right, now remember, Michael, fluency and grace. Save me, Glenn, please, Lord. Yeah, Joe. All right, what are you doing here? I'll be waiting for you. Talk about our business, young. What business? You know that problem we talked about before? Yeah. I've got the cash, and I've been mulling over a way of getting to him. Put that away, will you? Are you serious or what? Of course I'm serious, Jimmy. This man's ruining my life, and I want him out of the way. Well, who is it anyway? Oh, it's just some loan shark. Oh, bloody hell, sin. I didn't think you were going to do it. Didn't think you meant it. So you're bottling out now, are you? All that hard man stuff before was all talk, was it? No. I knew I shouldn't have bothered asking you. I'll sort it myself. Sit down, will you? There'll be a way round it. There isn't. I've got to finish it. Finish your paint, will you? <sighs> Give us a large scotch, please, Joe. Look, we'll sort something. Don't be worrying about it. Oh, Julie. I just thought it'd be a good idea if we come over and put these youngsters together. But it's a bit late. Come on, girls, come through. I hope you're up to scratch, because your Beth's coming on a treat. How's this, Michael? And are you going to this dance as well, love? No, there's no tickets left. Well, problem solved, because our Emma's got a spare now, haven't you, love? Well, take him. That's better than no one, isn't it? Thanks a lot, mate. <laughs> Don't mind, do you? No. Look, could I bring things to order? You can sort out the logistics later. Seeing as you're all here, I suggest we try a little dancing. Carl, music, please. <laughs> Same again, please. Hey, Archer. Don't think you've had enough? Have you never been in a situation like this? And everywhere you turn, there's nothing but blind alleys. No one to help you, and you just get walked all over. Of course you're right. But don't you worry. I'll have him. I'll stove his head in. Hey, can't you shut up? Talking like that, somebody's gonna hear you. I couldn't give a toss. I'm gonna get Maguire. See ya. Look, the fella will kill you if you go anywhere near him in this state. But well, there's no other way. I've got to do it. Oh, Let's go to the office, eh? Hey, talk about it calmly, mate. Hmm? Let's get you in a better frame of mind. Go on. Hi. Oh, I do. Um, all the best. <laughs> so, have you made any New Year's resolutions? Same as usual, to be a better person and lose a bit of weight. <laughs> no new ones, eh? <laughs> I was going to make one about always having a clean shirt for my husband and then I remembered somebody else does them. Yeah. Was that it? No, I want... I want to be able to see Josh, just for a few hours a week. What for? Well, to be quite honest, I'm not very happy with the way you're bringing him up. You're not very happy? What's not to be happy about? He's the happiest kid I know. He's got good clothes, good food. I don't mean that. I'm talking about... 
Well, you never take him near a church, do you? You know Bev's not interested in all that church stuff. She doesn't want him baptised because I've asked. Oh, that's rubbish. No, it's not. She was all ready to get him christened in a church not so long ago, and now all of a sudden she goes mad at the sight of a crucifix. I'm the problem, not the baptism. I'm ready to put all that behind me for now. I just want to see my own grandson for a few hours a week. I've asked Mike, seeing he's the kid's real father. D. He's not interested. Ron, what have I got in my life? No, A.D., don't be laying that guilt stuff on me again. I'm not trying to make you feel guilty, but... but I haven't got much. I need Josh. Yeah, but you know what Bev's like, don't you? Yeah, but I'm not doing it to hurt anyone. I'm doing it for me and Josh. Oh, all right, you can have him tomorrow for a short time while Bev's out cleaning. And what about after that? Hey, let's just get tomorrow over with first, eh? Then I can talk to Bev. Uh, Patricia and I thought it would be productive if we had a meeting. Did you really think that hitting Sam was the answer? Well, he had to come and, didn't he? Right. Well, look, Barry, I think there are some things we need to iron out. Too right. Go ahead, then. Well, as you know, we are equal partners in this venture. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? Because you're now the junior partner. <laughs> Don't be absurd. Well, he's behaving like one. You wouldn't have a business if it wasn't for Max. He found the location, he arranged the building work, the menus, the decor, the staff. And meanwhile, you're swanning around doing whatever it is you do. But you knew I was up to here dealing with Terry. And we both knew we had a business to run. Terry's my mate, the closest person to me. You didn't hear me saying we had a business to run when you wanted to spend time with Alice. You could have had as much time off with her as you'd wanted, and I wouldn't have said a word. I trusted you, Max, and you went behind me back. There's more to a partnership than turning up to work on time. There's loyalty, and you didn't show me any. Well, maybe we both underestimated our commitment to our partnership. So, what now? Well, that's up to you two, isn't it? I haven't got enough money to buy you out, but I'm definitely not dealing with that Sam fella. Well, it looks as though you two are going to have to go on working together. Whatever. Right, well, we'll get going. And tomorrow we shall start thinking about replacing Penny at the restaurant. Max, I don't like being stabbed in the back. But for the sake of our partnership, I'm prepared to put this one down to your naivety. But if it ever happens again, do you understand? Absolutely. to get him out of our lives. I'll have to do him in. Don't talk soft, will you? Just wait here till you cool down. I don't want to cool down, Jimmy. I want Maguire. Oh, sit down, will you? You babied. <sighs> You're not good, mate. Hey? Sorry, Sim. Jimmy, open the door, please. Jimmy, I've got to get Maguire. I've got to. <laughs> The Channel 4 video Brookside The Women features classic clips from the first 12 years of Brookside together with brand new material. It's out now in most shops.